Okay, now we'd like to go over some of the hand techniques. Uh, we're gonna go over this hand technique called Pao Choi. This is when you swing up like this. This is designed to break the arm or the elbow. Ready? Hey! 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 Okay, now I'd like to take this opportunity to go over some of the uh, footwork, the stances, and uh, the breathing, and the sounds that we make. Okay, each individual sound may be a little different. That's okay. The most important part is to breathe correctly. We start the stances by chambering uh, both your fists, bend your knees, go out with the balls of the feet, the heel, balls, heel and sit your shoulders should be back head up straight back is straight concentrating your energy from the don to end let's look at the crane beak uh, technique imagine your opponent throwing a punch in okay you want to step with your left foot at a 45 degree angle when the punch approaches, you're going to slip that punch by turning your waist and hooking with the crane's beak. Notice my left hand will come from the hip and waist and turn the waist and strike. From the heart of Hollywood, Ripley's Believe It or Not brings you tonight's unbelievable event. Tonight, we will meet a man who believes that he can bend steel. Actually, for the first time, he's going to attempt to bend not one, but two pieces of industrial-grade rebar. Oh my gosh, here it goes. Look at he's so intense, he's meditating right here. Time challenge. Next, throat benders. A father and son team going for the big ten thousand dollar check tonight. Please welcome Donald and Odell Hamby. So, uh, what are you gonna do with these rods, man? Well, Steve, I'll do the power of what we call qigong. Call what? Qigong. Qigong. Yeah, <laughs> it means breath control. The Chinese believe that qi resides in the lower abdomen in a place called the Dan Tien. And so through breath control, and, a, and you can make the body strong enough to bend or break steel. And that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to bend this steel rod by putting it in the soft part of my throat through the method of what we call qi. How come you got two of them? Oh, first of all, these are a quarter inch, and his is a half inch. So. Um, put them together. And a quarter is a half. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but these are easier to bend um, than that one right there. So he's not strong enough yet exactly. to bend this one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> big dog! <laughs> Come on over here, boy! <laughs> okay, let's get it. Hmm. <sighs> mm -mm. <laughs> Let me see that one time while they just work big boy now. Junior, you ain't bad. It's it, ooh, <laughs> big dude, come with it. Get it, little man. <laughs> oh, big boy, come get him, doggy. Yeah, yeah, boy. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> 